TIMS is the Trends in International Mathematics and Science Study, and it's administered by the IEA, uh, which is an international organization that historically has established international testing around the world, assessment, educational assessment. Uh, it's done on the fourth and eighth grade level. It's a grade-based assessment, and it um, uh, assesses science and mathematics. <coughs> um, normally, countries uh, participate in the assessment. But as the study has progressed, a number of benchmarking uh, educational systems have um, started to participate. And these benchmarking, or benchmark educational systems include states or regions of the world, um, and that enables the states or the benchmarking institutes to see how they're doing um, uh, in relation to other countries around the world. Indiana, as we talk about in the brief, uh, did fairly well. Obviously, there's room for improvement, but we're competitive in the world, and I think that's the take-home message that we wanted to say. Uh, there's so much negative uh, press out, it seems, about educational systems within the United States and with, even within the state of Indiana. But here, here's a time to celebrate. We, we did fairly well. Some of the darlings of international education, like Finland and Hong Kong, um, in mathematics, we actually outperformed Finland, and in science, we were on par with Hong Kong. So I think some of these educational systems that are um, the features of uh, educational tourism and that we're gearing curricula around, I think it's interesting. It's a little bit of an Indiana miracle alongside of the Finland miracle. The narrative has been really critical, especially of public education, but education across the board in the U.S. and Indiana. And I think when you really have a look um, at the results, um, disaggregated and just um, aggregated up to the national or the Indiana level, you see that we are really pretty competitive in terms of our educational systems. And with this big emphasis on uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics as a uh, an emphasis to be competitive in the knowledge economy, um, you see that Indiana really stacks up pretty well. And that, um, of course, as was mentioned earlier, we have a long way to go to be perfect. You know, we can always do better. But we really have a lot of reason to give ourselves a pat on the back. And consistently, since 1999, Indiana has done really well in this international assessment. And they continue to outperform the international average and to do either on par or above the U.S. average.